Hi there, my name is Eli, and welcome back to my channel, Jackie Elijah. And today I have my second color and create doll that we're going to go ahead and dye with some writ dye. I did the blue eye doll maybe a few weeks back, and that was a lot of fun. She was inspired by Harley Quinn. I think the vision's there, you know? It's not like a one to one interpretation, but. If you wink, you can see the rough inspiration, and that's what counts. But for her, for the green-eyed doll today, I don't have, like, as much of a direct character inspiration or anything like that. I just went inside the craft store and looked at the writ dyes that I had before me. Here are the three I picked out. I got rose quartz, which is, like, a light pink. And then coral. That kind of reminds me of uh, Simone Summers a little bit. And then wine, which kind of reminds me of Mila, Mila Barrymore. So like we got like Bella, <laughs> Bella, Bella Parker. We got a little bit of Simone and a little bit of Mila. So we're going to take these colors and hopefully have a beautiful end result. But yeah, I just don't have a huge idea of what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, I think I want to give her bangs because I think I'm going to keep the pigtails, but maybe give her bangs is what I'm leaning on because she does have a full like middle part which i'm trying to like keep intact because she came with pigtails and i would just hate to like let that go to waste but i mean i gave her pigtails so i have two dolls that have pigtails from the series i'm like mm, don't know if that's what i want but it might be what we're getting watch me give the last one pigtails too that'd be really funny just kidding who knows um but yeah ignore her disheveled hair it's just because i'm trying to keep like i said the part line separate but you know here she is. I got her for $25 because I had a Target Circle offer. So I saved a little bit of money. Um, I think these dolls will definitely be popular when they go on sale because they're just like blank slates. The only thing I still have an issue with is that they don't come with stands. I am like have a smorgasbord of a stand. I don't even know where this came from. Like, why is there a gold base with a purple stand? Sometimes things just happen. I don't know how where this even came from, but it's in my collection. I have it now. So that's what we're working with. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see how she turns out. Um, I'm going to try to make this brief and not as like long as the, the last coloring crate video. That was a little bit more like in depth to the dye process. Now that we're a little bit more familiar, I'm just going to run straight into things and get the ball rolling. So yes, let's go. Okay, we are beginning the dye process. So I'm just taking my electric kettle and boiling some hot water. And you could also maybe just heat up water over a stovetop. Either method would work. And then I take the writ dye, make sure to give it a good shake. I don't think last time I was like shaking it, which I definitely think affected the like tan dye the most. Um, yeah, but I did about half a cap is what I would say. Half a cap and then added some dish soap and vinegar to make sure that the color kind of sticks to the nylon hair fiber. And then just give it a good stir and then you can begin dyeing your doll's hair. So for this doll, I'm starting off at the base of the head, uh, making sure that that dye is concentrated there because when I put her hair back up in pigtails, I just want to make sure that the color, you know, reads properly. I didn't want to have any like white splotchy parts. So I'm really just concentrating at the base where the roots are, and then we'll work our way down to the pigtails eventually with the other colors and kind of ombre it out is the vibe, you know, start light to dark. So I keep dunking the doll inside the dye solution and I'm probably holding it in there for like 10 seconds ish and then take the doll out, rinse under cold water and just keep repeating that process. And then, yeah, like the blue eyed girl for her, I'm also having to keep these pigtails separate. So just adds a little bit more effort. So you keep the hair separate. And yeah, that's whatever. The other doll was actually harder because she had pigtails and front bang tendrils that I had kept separate. So this one's actually easier than the last one. And then here you can see I'm like, okay, let's just do the whole thing pink. So eventually I just like end up dunking each uh, pigtail in the pink solution. That way when I ombre it out with the coral and the wine color, it's just more of an even dye job. It's my thought process. And I, I think it did help. I'm glad I, I chose to do this. But you can still see by the end the base of the head is a little bit more concentrated with the dye. And then here I'm going in with the other side. And I really thought this pink color was really pretty. I probably could have just stopped here, to be honest, because 
this pink is gorgeous and stunning and this is a beautiful color but i just wanted to kind of you know do a little bit more than just one color and then here we're going in for the second color in coral just going off of vibes this time <laughs> didn't measure it or anything i'm just like that looks good i think that's fine right and the dye solution looked really bright so i was like i think this is working and also tip is when you're dying and your hair is wet the color is going to look more vibrant but then when the doll dries it's going to be a little bit lighter so keep that in mind when you're doing this process um the wet hair is never going to look the same compared to when the hair is dry so even though i'm dunking this doll and i'm like oh look at this coral color it's so bright and vivid deep down i know it's going to dry a little bit lighter so that's why i kind of do like a dunk, rinse, dunk, rinse, so I can kind of like incrementally dye the doll and then end at a spot that I feel good at. But she looks gorgeous right now. Look, look, look at those colors. Those are beautiful. I wish it did. I kind of, part of me low-key does wish um, the end results were this vivid because seeing this clip right now, I'm like, oh, that looks so stunning and so pretty. And she still looks pretty in the end results. You'll see her and she's really pretty, but it's just, it's not as bright as this. And then the last color, the wine. Mm, I don't know about this color. I don't know if it did what I wanted it to do. So maybe I, if I were to go back, I would maybe just go for like a true red, not this like wine burgundy-ish color. Just like a red would have been better, I think, in hindsight. But it's fun. And then instead of just doing like the whole end of the pigtail, I sectioned off uh parts of the pigtail and then dyed those ends just so i could kind of create like layers and like dimension i didn't want it to just be like one color after the other but i honestly i don't even think this wine color did a lot like i'm looking at the doll and the end result and it's so subtle that truth be told i could have probably skipped this last color or just gone more heavy-handed like with how light i went with it it didn't really feel like it was worth it so either just skip it or really, you know, do it and add more color. So I did actually go in and add more color because I wasn't vibing with it. And even then, I just don't feel like it did much. So this is maybe the one part of this whole dye process that like I would skip or change. Um, and I could honestly always go back and add more color if need be. But I'm a little lazy and I don't want to. I'm like, whatever, this is one dye session and that's what we're working with. And then, yeah, here you can see I added more water because I thought maybe the hot water, since it kind of cooled down, maybe if the water was hot, it would help out the dye, I think. It didn't really work, but that was my thought process. So, yeah. And you can see how dark the solution was. It just really wasn't transferring. But I also did this thing where <laughs> I was just adding the dye on top of one another. So I added the coral into the rose quartz solution, and then I added the wine into the two other colors. So it's just like keep adding the dye <laughs> and i don't know if that maybe was affecting it i just was like this is you know i don't want to have to get a whole new pot and like empty the water out so that was my thought process but yep that's all it is there's the end result okay i am done with the dye session and she's just drying off inside my bedroom and i separated these tendrils um because i feel like she's not rooted um, densely enough to give bangs to but I still want something to like help frame her face so I'm gonna go with like the part line tendrils um I do like sometimes when you do tendrils like right near the um like the corner of the ear I like that as well but we're gonna go with it up here today and see what that does for us um and then I'm gonna put her back into her pigtails but yeah I think the color turned out nice. This this pink is really nice. And then like I uh did like a subtle ombre into this like coral color with a little bit of the um the wine just to give it some dimension in the tips. And I think it looks really good. I'm excited. I know I know it's a pink doll, but I couldn't help myself, so but it turned out a lot better than I was expecting. So I think she's gorgeous and then let's put her in some pigtails and see what we're working with okay we are back with the green eyed girl and the hair is still a little wet so i don't know if this is going to be like the most accurate um representation of her hair in the end i think for the most part it's like what we're going to be working with but yeah 
just separated her these little like um front tendrils and sometimes i like to do these little like thin pieces compared to like the very thick bang pieces it just depends on the vibe but i felt like her forehead was really big so i just wanted something to kind of like break up that space a little bit and i do think i could have maybe gone a little more heavy-handed with the dye after seeing how it's looked it's looking dry but i still think it's really pretty i think it's a really subtle ombre um yeah and if i want to i can always go back and make the ends a little bit um darker but i like this color it's really pretty i would say it's kind of like in between brianna and simone like it's not full like bubblegum pink but it's got a little bit more of those like orange hues because of the coral dye so I think she's really pretty. I like her a lot and it matches the compliments like her lip color and her green eyes so well. I always feel like after I dye these, I, I bond with them a lot more. Like I think the blank slate and the white hair is like nice, but I can't help but want to just add some color to them. And yeah, she's really pretty. And then I had uh, styled this outfit on my like budget Cheryl Meyer body uh, to kind of like inspire how I would dye the hair. But I don't know, it didn't really, it's a cute outfit, but I didn't want to do like a purple dye job. So it could probably honestly okay, still work with this hair color, but it also just feels a little too similar in silhouette to like this outfit I did for the blue eyed girl, like a mini dress with like long sleeves. And you know, I, didn't, I didn't really want to repeat that. So I'm going to scrap this and then come up with a new look. And next time you see her, she will be wearing said new look. So let's go. Okay, y'all, we are all finished. It is the next day and I've let her hair settle down, dry, so it can show a more like accurate uh, depiction of what the color actually looks like. And yeah, it's a very, 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 very subtle ombre from the rose quartz color into like that coral shade with you can kind of see bits of the wine color right there that kind of adds some dimension um yeah i'm a, the wine didn't really pan out how i expected but honestly i'm happier that it's more subtle than like pink to red like if it was just this sharp block of red right here i don't think i would like it as much so yeah i'm happy that i took a more subtle approach with her but yeah, she's really grown on me, I have to say. Like, when I started off um, this video with her, and it was just the empty canvas with her hair flopping around, I don't know, I, I really wasn't vibing. Like, her and I, we weren't clicking. But I can say now that she's finished, she's fully styled, and she has, like, a full concept now. I am just smitten for her. She is so pretty. And I think this restyle suits her so well. It's a little bit mismatched kind of like pastel color block so i gave her these let's pull her closer i gave her these uh like um what do you even call these <laughs> like hair ties yes from a store called mini sew and they are two different colors one is blue and one is yellow and they actually have different uh molds for their bows as well like this one has a heart in the center right there but I really like them. I think they're really cute. I like the kind of like mismatched asymmetrical moment on her. And I don't know, I just like having like a hair tie or something. Um, kind of like helps flesh out the doll's style a little bit more. And then these earrings are Sabrina St. Cloud's earrings. This is a winter break sunny top. It's like a turtleneck kind of knit texture. It is just a tank though. It doesn't go all the way to the sleeve, which is nice because then I have this fur jacket. That was from my Mermaid's Mermaid's doll. It was from the Gwen doll. She had gone on sale maybe like a month ago for like really cheap, like 11 or $12. And I just wanted to see what they were about. But this fashion is really nice. It's really nice quality. And it looks to be like almost the same exact jacket that Fantastic Fashion Violet comes with, which I don't have that doll, but like they look very similar. And then this is Winter Break Violet's skirt. Kind of got these cute like pleats. And then some Karma Nichols socks with the budget Cheryl Myers shoes. I have to say, I do like the sock and heel combo. I know it's so played out, but like it's such a quintessential like rainbow high aesthetic that I always fall back on it. And yeah, 
Her hair is kind of like a light pink with tinges of that coral, so it like teeters like peachy almost. It's not full like uh, Georgia Bloom. Georgia Bloom does read a little bit more like orange. This is still leaning more pink. And I would honestly say she leans closer to Simone. So I actually grabbed my Simone to compare. Simone Summers is from Pacific Coast, uh, like a swimsuit line. And seeing them next to one another, Simone's hair is a lot more vivid. But I do think it's because her hair fiber is metallic nylon. Like, I'm almost certain that not this yellow, but this bright, bright, corally color is metallic nylon. Just in the way it reflects in the light, and then also it's really frizzy. <laughs> really just yeah it frizzes up a lot so i think this is like a metallic nylon blend but i think maybe it being metallic nylon adds to its like vividness because it's so so bright whereas um this doll over here even though it is close in that shade of like coral because it's not metallic nylon it's just a little bit more subdued so yeah i think they're different enough obviously simone has tons of yellow in her hair because she is like sunset themed so the yellow kind of helps differentiate these two. But they honestly could pass for like sisters a little bit or like cousins even, you know? I can, I can see the similarities. But even just facially, like Simone's really sharp angled brows give her a total different vibe than this thing over here with the more like straight brows. Yeah, I think they're really cute next to one another. Maybe I'll keep them together and they can just hang out. But yeah. I'm really happy with her dye job. It was, um, you know, it was pretty simple. Um, it wasn't the most, what's the word? Like, I can't think of the word. Uh, it wasn't the most like bold or daring, you know, writ dye session. It was, it was pretty tame. Just used one pot and gave it my best. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm hoping my, my inclination is that for the purple eyed girl, I will, try to go all out and do something a little bit more bold in in color these two are leaning a little bit more like subdued pastel and i think for the purple eyed girl i really want to like have her pop and stand out from these two i mean i love these two but yeah i just want to try something different so we'll see what i i pull out of my sleeve for her but yeah let me know what you guys think of the color and create series i've been having a lot of fun with them like surprisingly i Took a little bit of time to get them. Like, I didn't snatch them off the shelves right away. Um, so I was just like, eh, they're cool. They, they don't come with the stand, whatever. But now that I've, like, gotten my grimy little hands onto them, I've had so much fun. I think, too, what I like about dolls is, like, when you get to explore, like, a different creative medium. So, you know, I like to dip my toes into rerouting. And uh, it's all so much fun to restyle. And then I think soon i might try and do my first attempt at like redoing their lips i'm gonna start with monster high i think that'll be less intimidating that jumping straight into rainbow high but yeah it's just fun to like explore new creative avenues that doll doll collecting has such as custom like dye jobs and if you didn't know um you can't dye saran it doesn't take the dye but you can dye the nylon hair which is what rainbow high has so if you're trying to dye like a G3, like Monster High doll, it's probably not going to work out. So it's fun that Rainbow High gives us this high quality nylon that we can play around and dye like this. And yeah, let me know if you've dyed any of your dolls. If you haven't, what you've done with your coloring crate girls. I've had so much fun and I can't wait to round out and finish this series off with the purple eyed girl. But that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. One more little glimpse of her before we sign off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's gorgeous. We love her. But that's all I have for you today. My name is Eli and this is my channel, Jackie Elijah, and I'll see you next time. Bye.